Hello there, Aries. How are you? It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we're doing your May 2024 reading. So let's jump into it and see what's on the horizon for you. Vast vistas, expand your horizons. You're going places, Aries, and turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so I do feel like there is this energy of great expansion about to occur in your life. Um, and I, you know, with the turtle spirit, it's kind of like allowing yourself to, you know, areas you can be uh, sometimes spontaneous, you know, but also understanding that you, you it's not who gets there first <laughs> or um, who gets out of the gate first. It's kind of like allowing yourself to take your time to to find your way when you're doing where wherever it is that you're wanting to go, right? And I feel like this this could have something to do with love, okay? Um, so maybe part of it is that you haven't stepped out of your comfort zone lately, right? Um, this could mean that you're trying to meet new people in new places, right? It could also mean um, looking at things in a different way of what it is. Yeah, you definitely have romance <laughs> coming through. Um, looking at people and situations and romantic connections. Okay, Ten of Pentacles here is trying to come out. Um, Long-term committed relationships. Perhaps you're 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 having um you're changing you're transforming what it is that you want in a romantic connection so i feel like yeah you're trying to take oh this is going in a beautiful direction right now let's look at this you have decrease and attachment right i feel like you're kind of almost like thinking that love isn't for you or love isn't around you or or if you're in a relationship that it's just draining you of your energy, there's something here, right? And you have the Knight of Swords. So I'm going to say this is a very fast energy, right? But you have this energy. I think you're trying to go a little bit too fast. You may be trying to make a decision a little bit too quickly, all right? So it's like a little bit of the energy of, yes, you are going in a new direction. Okay, whether you're changing the direction a relationship you're in is going or you're expanding your horizons to bring in a new connection. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's kind of like don't go too fast. And I think that that's it's almost like, yeah, you're you're having you have all of these hostilities around you. Right. A consciousness of lack. It's almost like you're looking at the situation or you could be dealing with somebody that is looking at love. Yeah, you have the king and queen of cups, but you have the five of wands. So you have, right, a beautiful loving couple here, but there's chaos. There's, there's conflict, okay? And I think it's because somebody here is wanting to go in one direction and go quickly. And the other person is wanting to go a little bit more slowly. So whichever one you are, because we have the king and queen, I think this is either a relationship that you are in or a relationship that will soon be on your path. But one of you, I feel, wants to take the, the connection much along much more quickly than the other person. And it's causing a little bit of chaos, right? It's uh, the person, I feel like the person that is wanting it to go more quickly is a little bit concerned well why don't why doesn't the other one want to get into a committed relationship or take the relationship to the next level a little bit more quickly and the person that wants to go a little bit slower is kind of like a little bit like well why do they want to move along so quickly right? <laughs> I, th I think things are fine the way they are. So it's about allowing yourself to see perhaps the perspective of not just you, but the other person that you're involved in. Because your obstacle here is door to romance and the sacred temple. And you're, you're, you're up in your head. You're trying to figure out, is, is this the relationship for me? Because one of you wants to move quickly and one of you doesn't. Now, if you're in separation from somebody, right, and you're trying to figure it out because, you know, you, the two of you want different things, it's, it is, you know, look, it's about healing this, right? It's about asking, 
asking each other what it is that I feel like it's about getting to the emotions. Okay. And you know, Aries, you, you, you can be highly passionate, but sometimes you also have to allow people to share their feelings and their emotions. And I feel like somebody in this situation, whether it's you or the other person, doesn't want to deal with the feelings or the emotions of the situation. Somebody here wants to be able to share their feelings in a very safe environment. And when they're able to do that, then there is also a lot of healing in this connection. Um, and, you know, I can kind of relate to that because sometimes, you know, people want different things out of a relationship. And I, I, I'm a Gemini, but I have an Aries moon. And sometimes when I get into a romantic connection, right, um, if somebody wants to move it along more quickly than I do, I, I can be, it's almost like alarm bells go off. <laughs> it's kind of like, well, what's going on? Why do we have to move along so quickly, right? <laughs> and it's really just about, you know, uh, sometimes I, I have to admit, it's kind of like, okay, I want out. I don't know why we're moving along so quickly, but I want out, right? And it's kind of like allowing somebody to explain their feelings or share their emotions about the situation. And it, it gives them a sense of connection, emotional connection, either you're feeling this way or the other person is, right? But if you're feeling like you can't share your emotions with somebody, then it may be just saying that. I need a minute. <laughs> I need to share something with you, right? I, I want to go slower because, you know, and sharing why you want to go slower. Because this is a good, really, really nice connection. Okay, Aries, this is a really nice connection because you have the sun, you have the journey, you have the loving man. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is the energy of when you allow the person that wants to move really fast <laughs> uh, slows down a little bit. And the person maybe that wants to go really slow is also willing to compromise and share. I think there's just this energy of needing to share emotions, feelings. What is the expectations that each of you have in this relationship? Because there's, it's almost like a whirlwind. There's almost this energy that there's a whirlwind. And this is just such beautiful energy, right? You are meant to be together if you're resonating with this. And now if you're arguing about something, you know, um, you know, abusive or something like that, that's totally different. This is for those of you that there's some type of conflict, but it's really because you're having a hard time having heart to heart conversations, slowing down the pace a little bit to get better, to better know what the other person is thinking, feeling, wanting, ex expecting, right? It's all of that. Yeah, this this is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. And it goes forward. Archangel Michael is working on this. You know, for some of you, you could be even like separated from somebody, you know, kind of like, okay, we need time out, you know, that type of thing. But look, you're, you're getting ready to step into a new chapter, working it out, working together to find this balance, Libra energy. And Venus is moving um, into Gemini, actually, on May 25th. It, it brings a, a completely different perspective of this relationship. Now, if you don't have somebody in, in your life right now, right? I think this is a new connection. But the new connection, part of it is, is being willing to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with each other, right? A asking some of those deeper questions, not just, you know, um, feeling like you got to go, go, go. It's kind of like, okay, let's, let's sit and let's talk. Let's get to know each other. Let's uh, share our feelings. <laughs> and Aries, that may be at first kind of like in, not in, you, you know, not in your comfort zone. This is about allowing yourself to step out of your comfort zone and say, but this is what makes a relationship 
long lasting. This is what takes a relationship to a deeper level. And I think you're ready for this, right? It may be kind of like <laughs> new experience. It's taking you out of your comfort zone. And yet at the same time, it's allowing you to experience a deeper, emotionally intimate relationship like you've never experienced before. Yeah, I do feel like for some of you, you are in separation. You have the separation card, right? And this is somebody that I feel like you you either know, you know who this person is. I think for a lot of you, you know, if you're resonating, this reading won't be for everybody. It's somebody that you know. If it's not, if they're not in your life right now, then I think that this is somebody that you may have had a connection with in a past life and you have very soon <laughs> flirt passion right um now i'm going to say aries this is very much your fiery energy you know the flirting and the passion but what is really important here too is allowing each other to get to know each other on an emotional level allowing yourself to kind of detach Okay, from the energy of, well, it's just about the passion, right? It's allowing yourself to have the passion, right? But also to have that emotional connection. Yeah, really interesting energy. I feel like it's kind of like you're, you're truly leveling up in your romantic area. You're, you're wanting more for yourself. And I feel like you're, you're willing to allow yourself to expand what you think what you have been wanting or or perhaps experiencing in your romantic love life right it's kind of like you know before it could have been much more on a surface level it could have been a lot of passion and a lot of you know a, a high energy but now what you're understanding is that okay those relationships didn't go deep enough you know and they may have ended and now you're understanding that what you really want is that more emotional connection in a relationship. Beautiful energy there, Aries, I will have to say. All right, let's pull a soul truth card for you. And I do do personal reading. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I even have a special May reading up. So you may be interested in that. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. What am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? Yeah, I think that there's a little bit of energy of understanding, okay? That there's, you may have kind of like, had this energy of that a connection had to bring you something okay that maybe you didn't have previously right and it could have been kind of like based on wanting a lot of passion and you know you could have even kind of misinterpreted passion and romance for emotional intimacy there's a difference right and so it's kind of like you could have been basing your relationships on that. And now what you're understanding is that, no, what's really important is the heart connection. And to have the heart connection, you also have to know yourself well enough to be sh able to share who you are, but also to be vulnerable enough to allow yourself to open your heart to somebody. But when we allow ourselves to do that, we step out of our comfort zone and allow ourselves to be in that vulnerable place, to share our deepest, darkest secrets, right? our wishes, our dreams. And we allow our, other people to do that with us is a, an amazing energy, right? And I think that that is exactly what you are wanting at this time and allowing yourself to go a little bit slower. You know, you don't have to jump right into it. <laughs> you don't have to go on the, you know, second or third date and share all of your secrets, right? It's kind of like you allow the trust bond to form um, slowly, right? It is a process. It's not just, you know, all in. <laughs> no, definitely not. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I would love you so much. Thank you so much for all your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.